For today's makeup lesson, I want to share my super speedy foundation routine. I don't do primers on days like these, I just use my moisturizer after I cleanse my face in the morning, and so we're just going to skip right to foundation. I'm applying the foundation with my hands, so wash them really well, and then I like to spray them with some sort of a makeup setting spray of some sort. I find this helps the foundation glide on the face, but it'll also stop your hands from absorbing too much of the foundation. I pump the foundation onto the palms of my hands, and I'm using about the same amount that I would usually use if I was using a brush. Now I have tried this out with matte foundations, but it doesn't work as well so I would recommend using something a little bit more hydrating. You want to rub the palms of your hands together. Don't use your fingertips yet. Just rub the palms of your hands together to warm up the foundation and you should end up with something that looks like this. Now press your fingers onto the palms of your hands to pick up a little bit on your fingertips keeping them really tight together and nice and flat. Then you can start on the forehead and I use the fingertips on the forehead and do the forehead first. You might find that the palms of your hands keep it a little warmer than your fingertips do. So start at the top and work your way down. When I'm doing the rest of my face I like to lean back and use the flat of my palms and press this onto my cheeks and then I start to blend this and it should feel kind of like you're blending in an SPF. Another way that this is really quick is because you don't necessarily have to look in the mirror you can actually just feel for where the coverage is going. Now to use every last drop I'm going to respray my hands. This will just bring the foundation up a little bit more and then I can blend this down my neck. I can reapply on my face if I want a little bit more coverage or if I need to blend a little bit more. Now I'd recommend having a makeup wipe or a towel handy just so you can clean off your hands so put that on your list when you're prepping for this. I also like to remove any of the excess from my lips at this stage and a little trick for removing excess from your brows and your lashes is this. Take a spoolie or a clean mascara wand wrap it in a makeup wipe quite tightly so you can still see the bristles kind of coming through and then just brush through your brows and your lashes. This is also great for your hairline. If you find that you get a little foundation in there, you can just brush it through. And you'd be totally surprised about how much excess comes off. Even when you're just using a brush, it can still get on your lashes and your brows. Then take the wipe off and just use a dry spoolie just to blend over your brows to remove any excess makeup remover. Now I'm pretty happy with the coverage, but if you do want a little bit more, you can go in with your concealer. I like to use a slightly lighter shade of concealer because that way I'm adding some dimension by highlighting parts of my face. And the older I get, the more I like working upwards in upwards angles and this is just going to add some brightness and lift my face a little bit more. Now you can continue using your fingertips or you can use a sponge or a brush. It's totally up to you. Now if you have long nails like me and you really struggle to get in and around the eyes because your nails are too long, what you can do is bend your index finger and create this little tapping motion with your index finger bent. It's kind of similar to the feeling that you get from the pads of the tops of your fingers. It kind of creates the same little pressing motion. Then I'm going to give my skin a spritz of setting spray. This will just hold everything in place. I would recommend using a fan to dry out your setting spray. Not only does it feel really refreshing, but it just means that it all dries at one time, which means it's going to look better for longer. Now I'm going to be using the only brush that we need for the next three steps, and this is the large supercharged F20. I actually have a video on the F20 where I show you how to do a full face of makeup using just one brush, and I'll link that below, but we're going to use this for the next few steps. I'm going to roll one side of the brush, just using one edge, dipping this into my sculpting product, and then roll this onto my face using that edge. This way I can get like a nice sharp line and I can really pinpoint my cheeks. Then I start to blend this up and over my cheeks. You can also use this to sculpt around your hairline, all just using the same brush, just applying and then blending. Then simply turn the brush to the opposite side and roll this in your chosen highlighter and sweep this across your face wherever you want to catch the light. And finally, you want to finish off with your blush using the top flat part of the brush. If you did your blush first, you'll probably end up with a blush toned sculpting product and highlighter, so we don't want that. The great thing about using just one brush means we're cutting down on time reaching for a different brush for each product. Now you can go ahead and pair this with any eye makeup look that you want. You can check out my super quick one. I also have a hair tutorial that's super quick and easy to do as well but I hope that you enjoyed this one. And you can prep this the night before by having everything laid out in front of you so that you can just go boom, 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 boom into each step and then you're done. And I will see you in the next one.